Yo. In today's compilation, we're going to go over the funny things truckers say over the CB radio. I thought it'd be cool. Thought it'd be a lot lighter than the past few videos. For those who don't know, CB radio is what truckers use over the road to communicate with one another. It's the fastest way to get in contact with law enforcement or the fastest way to communicate with your fellow driver about the road conditions or amber alerts. It's a, it's a rare things that a CB radio plays. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed this compilation and all. Yeah. Oh. Are you not entertained? How about it there, westbound? Anybody got eyes on what's happening on the eastbound side? I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. Hello, fellow truckers. My name is Bob. That is B-O-V. Bob, I got my CDLs last week. I got my CB radio today, and I'm looking forward to talking to each and every one of you truck drivers out there. Once again, my name is Bob. That's B-O-B, frontwards or backwards. It's Bob. Really? Go f yourself, Bob. I will be in the left-hand lane doing 45 mile an hour with my four ways on. I'm in a Swift. If you go by me, just give a hoot. Wave at me again. My name is Bob. That's B-O-B. Frontwards or backwards, it's Bob. <laughs> There's a lot of good things about a CB radio, but there are also a couple bad things. Obviously, you got those guys behind the mic that you know, will say whatever they want, racial slurs, and they because they know you can't find them. And you also have guys that can talk across the nation and interrupt anybody. I really hate those guys, the ones that have that host CB radio shows. Hey, keep it safe while you're out there cruising on them highways and byways. Every time I hear that shit, I turn it off. Can I get off? Did you know the Citizen Band Radio, also known as the CB Radio, was invented in 1945 by Al Gross, the creator of the walkie-talkie for the U.S. military during World War II. The radio was originally used for military communication during the war, but after the war, Gross worked to make it possible for people to use two-way radios for personal communication. Can anybody tell me how deep do I put that fuel nozzle into my tank? Get out of your butt. Might on you, I don't know. Give it a try. How deep do you usually put it in, driver? Because it pops out once I put it in. Anybody else on that fuel nozzle? Come on me. Yeah, I'm taking my 30. About 30 inches deep, driver? Yeah. Ooh, I like that, daddy. Yeah. If you take that blue-handled nozzle and you put it in your fuel tank and fill it right on up, you'll run good. <laughs> if anybody's got a cordless drill out there, let me know. I need that battery from it bad. Shut up. Driver, my vibrator ran out of battery. Shut the fuck up. Tired of the bullshit. You don't have anything important to say, shut up. But that's very important to me, driver. Well, that's your damn problem, not anybody else's. <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. Well, maybe you need to dial 1-800 baby. Oh, fucker, why don't you tell me where you're at? I'd walk right over there and drag your fat ass out of that fucking truck. Right 
bring you a cook, okay? Look, bitch, just turn your fucking radio off. Well, Grace, because that's where the day she gave me through the door frame. Now, the rest of us shouldn't have to shut our radios off because he's got to act like a fucking asshole and just keep it up and piss people off. Just turn your radio off. It won't aggravate you, but if you're on the road and needed to stay awake, all you got to do is listen to me for a little while. I've been re running the room crew, top notch, and started a bunch of hate discontent out here in the Glendale truck stop area for the last nine years. Somebody tell me where that son of a bitch is. I'll give him a hundred dollar bill and walk over and bust that cocksucker right in the fucking head. Alright, how do you in the world do you use one of these things? Channel 19, let's give it a try. Hello, this is the new guy trying to figure out how to use a CB. Anybody out there? Hey newbie, you better watch your back on these roads. They're tough out here. This ain't for pussies. CB Rambo over and out. Uh, thanks for the warning, CB Rambo. Hey rookie, welcome to the CB world. Remember, laughter is the best fuel for your journey. CB Jester signing off with a joke. Thanks for the warm welcome, CB Jester. Young pup. Listen closely. The CB radio holds the power of trucker wisdom. Seek guidance and spread kindness all around the world. CB Guru over and out. Wise words, CB Guru. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Big Red. Thanks for the heads up, buddy. Hey, this is Rumpelstiltskin just giving all you fair-weathered, saggy tits, snickel fritz drivers a heads up about the mountain pass I just went over. Woo, boy, I tell you what, I got a snake in my boots. Niner, Niner, 49ers, Joe Montana going deep. Hey, the, the road's dry. All right. Break one, nine. I got this big old flatbed getting on the interstate. You guys better get out of my way. Ah, shut up, stupid. I told you that you hit me. You hit me! Hey, Conestoga, you hit me! You hit me! I told you to be out of my way! I'm gonna go up here and show you! Show me what? Yeah, here I come! What are you gonna do? You hit me! You dummy! Hey, son, you need to pull over! Or we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna exchange some paperwork! You gotta pay for the damage that I caused. <laughs> Shut up, stupid. That's right, you were supposed to be in, in the left lane. I don't care if there was four wheelers there. You can't be that dumb. I'm the king of the road. Yeah, king of stupid. You gotta get out of my way. But you know what? I just want to let you know, I ain't got no panties on. You just best go come over here and pull over because we going to talk about it. No, we're not. Pull over. Pull over right now. Right here. We going to talk about it. Let's go. I got places to be. I hit you. But it's your fault that I hit you. That I came into your lane, I, I, it's your fault. Have fun. I got money to make. I can't sleep. My AC doesn't work. Can I come over and spend the night in your cab? No. Come on, driver. It's pretty hot. I got my windows down. And all the mosquitoes came in. I got my air running and it's cold as a refrigerator in here. I tried to watch a movie here, man. Can you whisper? No. I promise I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it quiet. What kind of movie are you watching? I was trying to find that series on, uh, 1883, the Yellowstone story. I better not be broke back, Mountain. Uh, no, it's not. Don't fucking lie to me. I can see it through the window. You're watching broke back, Mountain. I know you can. I've got my curtains full. <laughs> Let's find out if drivers know common trucker slang terms. What's your 20 is requesting for your location? What's your location? Location. Oh, uh, your location? Your location? 
New location. Location. Parking lot in reference to a car carrier full of cars. Car carrier. Skip. Next. <laughs> car hauler. That is a car hauler. The skateboard is what I is my job. I drive a flatbed. Skateboards would refer to as flatbeds. Flatbed. Oh, uh, flatbed. 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 That's a flatbed driver. Chicken coop is a reference to those guys that everybody hates. It's the way stations. Scale house. Scale house. Scale house. Way station. Way station. Yep. Uh, scale house. Officially stands for global positioning system. But we really know what it stands for is we get people stuck. Get people stuck. Getting people stuck. Forgot about that. Get people stuck. Get, get people stuck. stuck. Get, people stuck. Right. get people stuck. Hey, y'all. I've got some trucker slash CB lingo to share with y'all in case you're new to the industry or you're not in it at all. If you ever hear a trucker say this or you got your CB radio on, You'll know what it means when you hear it. We'll, we'll start with law enforcement terms. First off, we're going to go local yokel. That's your city cops, your, you know, your local police, your county mounties. That's your county police, obviously, like your sheriff's department and stuff. Then you got your full-grown bears. That's your state cops, your state troopers and stuff. So if you ever hear those, you'll know what they mean. And if you ever hear somebody say there's a Kojak with a Kodak on the side of the road taking your pictures, that's the police with the radar gun out. So there's some terms. If you ever hear them, you'll know what they mean. File those away. Well, that's the end of that compilation. Hope y'all enjoyed that. A lot of things about CB radios I didn't know about until I was researching this to make this compilation. <laughs> Anyhow, looking to get into trucking, make sure you get down there to that description box and uh, hit that Patreon. And if you need a consultation, we also have a calendar link down there. So until next time, peace.